Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Spivey, joined with my dad, Charlie Spivey. And in this video today, we are going to be going over Organelle City 101, so let's do this. In today's video, we will be covering over Organelle Structure, Organelle Function, and Organelle Homeostasis. So let's go ahead and take a look inside of a cell. Well, at least not this type of cell. Now that's more like it. Now let's take a deep look inside of the cell and look at the different types of organelles. Chocolate bars. Let's start off with the nucleus, which is the city hall for the cell. The nucleus controls all the activities of cell city. For now, let's just call him Mr. Nucleus. And Mr. Nucleus controls all the organelles in the city, including the organelles that build and transport proteins, along with organelles that store, clean up, and support the city. Organelles that confer, make, and release energy for the city, and organelles that protect the city. Next up, we have the cytoplasm, which is the jelly like substance that most of the organelles are in. It's like the environment that all the other organelles live in. Now, let's take a look at organelles that build, package, and transport proteins. These organelles include ribosomes, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, and vesicles. We'll first start off with the ribosome, which builds proteins needed for Cell City. The ribosomes are like the construction company with workers that build structures that help the city function and give it support. Second, we have the endoplasmic reticulums, which are the roads or highways for Cell City, because they help materials move throughout the city. There are two types, the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The rough endoplasmic reticulum helps with the making of proteins and is called the rough endoplasmic reticulum because there are ribosomes attached to it that help with the production and transportation of proteins throughout the cell. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum makes hormones and lipids for the cell. Third, we have the Golgi apparatus, also known as the Golgi body, which is the post office for Cell City. It packages and uses vesicles to transport proteins and other materials to different parts of the cell. Now let's move on to organelles that store, clean up, and support. First up, we have the lysosome, which is the recycling factory for the cell city. It breaks down old and worn out cell components and reuses materials. Next up, we have the vacuole, which is the warehouse for the city. It stores food, water, waste, or other materials needed by the cell. Next, we have vesicles, which are the transport vans for Cell City. Vesicles transport substances from one cell to another and from one part of the cell to another part of the cell. Next, we have the cytoskeleton, which is the metal or wood framework that holds the city up. It is also used for transport and chemical signaling as well. And last, we have centrioles, which are two pipes that help Cell City split into two when it comes time for cell division. Let's move on to organelles that capture and release energy. The mitochondria is the power plant of Cell City. It converts the fuel from the food we eat into usable energy for the cell in the form of ATP. And now on to our cell membrane, which is the city police for Cell City. The cell membrane protects the cell by determining what comes in and out of the cell. But what if? Breaking news, Organelle-itis outbreak in Organelle City. All Organelles are down. I repeat, all Organelles are down. The protein factory is out of order as a result of the ribosomes malfunctioning. The rough endoplasmic reticulum is down and no longer able to help to produce proteins as well. How will the cell be able to survive without these vital and important proteins? The cell now contains many broken down vesicles that are unable to transport materials throughout the cell. Vital materials needed for the cell are now malfunctioning. Store, cleanup, and support systems are all down. Vacuoles, vesicles, lysosomes, cytoskeleton, centrioles, all down. Mitochondrial power plant down for service. 
No energy for the cell. Endoplasmic reticulum rose flooded, making it impossible for transportation from one place to another throughout the cell. The cell membrane has a complete breakdown of protection. There is nothing stopping things from coming in and out of the cell. The entire cell is breaking down. Is this the end for Cell City? What can you do to save Cell City? Phew, that was scary. A good thing our Cell Cities are all working. I really hope that you liked the video and got a lot out of it. If you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any more of our amazing videos. Also, check us out at our website at www.fathersarinterventions.com. Thank you for watching our videos and we hope you have a spectacular day. Galaxy.